Mississippi State's the only one who, not in that group of the Blue Bloods, the trendsetters, the standard bearers, and now Tennessee has joined this group. Mississippi State, the only one that didn't make it in to the college football playoff. Heather Denich does an unbelievable job for us on ESPN.com and across the various platforms of covering the college football playoff. Uh, Heather, you get a little time to digest the first rankings now. See, five of the top 11 are from the SEC. What is it that jumped out to you about these initial rankings? Well, the first thing, Reese, is that Georgia needs to win on Saturday more than Tennessee. And I say that because it's clear they are clinging to that win against Oregon. And if they don't beat Tennessee, they're going to obviously need to win out and they're going to have to pray because nobody left on their schedule is ranked in the CFP's top 25 tonight. And that win against Oregon was great, but They've got to do more. They've got to beat Tennessee in order to have a chance, in my opinion. And the other thing that really stood out to me, Reese, was an indictment on Michigan's non-conference schedule. When you look at Colorado State, Hawaii, and UConn, those teams are a combined 8-18. Eight and 18. So they've got one win, a ranked win against Penn State, which is 6-2. and two. Yeah, Ohio State has the same thing, but clearly they like what they see more from the Buckeyes on film than they do Michigan. To me, this says you've got to beat the Buckeyes or you're not getting into the college football playoff. I think that is the case for Michigan for sure. Heather, as I mentioned earlier, they had a cancellation. And who would have thought the Jim Morris Huskies would have been the toughest non-conference uh, foe on Michigan's schedule. Heather Dennis reporting live from Grapevine, Texas, where the College Football Playoff Selection Committee has been meeting uh, for the past few days. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.